a long time no talk. It's been a while, man. It's been since what the uh, the, the championship series, something like that, a little something, something like that. I believe we watched one World Series game before before we uh, parted ways. Was was that? You're right. We were we were late by a day. That but was, it was the Astros the- series. Let me take that back. Mm, mm, mm. I just want to say, man, uh, should have been the Yankees in that World Series. Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go there yet. Not just Damn, kidding. Um, it feels like ages ago <laughs> that we even said the word Yankees in this podcast, even though we mentioned it about Gary Sanchez the last episode. But it just feels like the whole playoffs in the re- in for the MLB took about like two months felt longer than the regular season and it's true it was only a month but there were 16 teams an extra round essentially so yeah it was a longer postseason i mean you know yeah it, you didn't make that up and That's uh true. it ended the only way a world series in 2020 could have ended and maybe we should start it with this before we get into the main topic with justin turner testing positive for COVID 19 and security telling him that he can't go out into the field to celebrate with his teammates and he decides he's just gonna he's gonna do it anyway fuck it takes off his mask kissing his wife sitting down with his teammates to take a group picture how could i mean how did that happen how how did it even happen that justin turner could test positive for covid when they're in a bubble quote unquote I don't know, man. I have a feeling that reports will come out and it'll be like it was a false positive or something. But let me just say that COVID is not a joke, but sports and COVID is kind of a joke. Like Dave Roberts has a mask on almost the entire time, right? Yeah. Yet when he has to complain about something, it's almost like he takes the mask. I was like, hey, do you see me complaining here? Can you read my lips? (laughs) Fuck. It's me. Comp- it's me. It's me complaining. He, first, he has the mask on throughout the entire thing. When he ha- when he has to say something, he takes the mask off, yells it, puts the mask back. Same thing with Cash. Yeah. Right. Same thing with Blake Snell. Blake Snell last night. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But I'm convinced he only had a mask on to talk shit about Kevin Cash. Like I've so seen that thing, so that the camera wouldn't read his lips. I think it was Dave Roberts, but it might have been Kevin Cash. I've seen them pull the mask down to spit, and then pull yeah. it back up. Like. Yeah, it was all for show. I think I think once they went into the bubble, they didn't even need to do all that. Like it was just an extra you're going yeah. extra essentially. But then you you see that Justin Turner tests positive for COVID. So like I don't know how strict were they in COVID. I spoke with someone um after the Yankee series, I think it was, who no, it was before the postseason even started, who said that they were put into a hotel to to quarantine in a bubble. Um, but there were other people in the same hotel. They were sharing elevators with people that weren't a part of MLB, just like regular people that weren't wearing masks and all this shit. And it's just, I think it was just, you know, it's no surprise that the only sport to screw this up somehow is MLB. In hockey, no positive tests in their bubble. NBA, no positive tests in their bubble. And they were there for fucking like three months. MLB were in a bubble for one month and they couldn't even do that right somehow. And then they allowed Justin Turner to go out into the field. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't maybe know it's either, a false, man. maybe you're right. Maybe it's a false positive too. Maybe it's not even that big of a deal. Not only that. And honestly, when I heard that Justin Turner tested positive mid game, I was kind of <clears throat> skeptical at first. I'm like, how's that even possible? Right. Yeah. Like, aren't these tests supposed to, I know that when you land in a, like if you go to a, different like if you travel if you go to aruba let's say they make you take a test they make you quarantine for like an hour in the hotel or whatever they got the the test results so i thought all this was taken care of way before the game but then again man i also woke up this morning thinking to myself he already played half the game he already spent all this time buddy buddy with his teammates and stuff all his teammates wanted him out there that i you know i i I'm assuming they wanted him out there celebrating. They all took pictures with him. Dave Roberts took a picture with the team right next to Justin Turner. wasn't wearing a mask. The mm-hmm. oldest guy on the field that should have been wearing a mask wasn't wearing a mask. So I, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's an odd situation. But at the same time, he was already there. He was already participating and hugging and spitting seeds and, you know, yeah. rubbing pine tar on the back of his jersey and all that good stuff. And I almost feel like 
at that point, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> no, you're right. And not just that, it. but then Ken Rosenthal says that the test came out in the second inning of the game. I don't know if the Dodgers were informed yet, but it seems like they found out that he was positive by the second inning of the game and he wasn't removed until the eighth inning. So hmm. it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? Like it really is. Everything's I don't bullshit. Know. I don't think the virus is bullshit. I think that the virus is very serious. You know, there's there's been 225 deaths, 225,000 deaths, I think. We're at like 70 or 80,000 infected people per day. We're approaching 100,000. It's it's the worst that it's ever been. It's far from over. The third wave is going to be the worst of, of all the waves, apparently, is what they're saying. Um, but how baseball handled it was a joke is what I'm trying to say. I agree with you. There was a lot of things that just did not make sense. Like you're, you have your manager with a mask on in the dugout, but then he's taking it off to take a picture with his team. You have, it's, it's just, it doesn't make sense. It, none of it just made any sense the way it was done. It seems like a lot of it was for show, which I appreciate because I think a lot of people need to see that, but at the same time, you know, whatever. And here's so, a question I have for you real quick. Do you think that if you were the Rays and you find out that Justin Turner tested positive for COVID, he's removed in the eighth inning, you read the Rosenthal story that says that he that they that uh, the test came out in the second inning of the game. Do you contest the game and say, like, this shouldn't count because you had a player on the field that shouldn't have been playing, you know, the whole time? I wouldn't myself because. I personally think the Rays, when I look back at the Rays, I don't even think they should have been in the World Series, man. Wow. You're still on yeah. this, huh? Yeah, yeah, honestly. I don't I think that team is Jesus. you won't see you won't see them in the World Series for a while. And it's funny because wow. Joe Buck is like, don't worry about the Rays. They'll be in the playoffs for a long time. I guarantee you that that's not true. Mm. Because and I that's we'll we'll, we'll, ta- we'll talk about we'll talk about that later. <laughs> that's but, crazy. <laughs> listen, I wouldn't con- I wouldn't contest it because from what I remember, Justin Turner was a non-factor uh-huh. in the last game. I don't even think I saw him make a play at third. Don't quote me on that, though. Like, obviously, we can go back and check. I don't. Uh, I don't think he played a, a big role in this World Series. I think in the last, no, no, in the World Series, he. I think he did play a role in the World Series. He didn't play a role in the last game. Now, if I find out that they knew he was, he tested positive before the game, and the Dodgers just had to have him in the lineup. Because it was a, it was an it was an elimination game for the Rays, uh, then I would probably contest something. But if the game started and they did find out mid game and all this stuff, nah, just let it go at this point. He went 0 for three with two strikeouts um, and was removed in the eighth inning. And people didn't understand what was going on. Whatever, turns out he tested positive for COVID. Um, would you would you contest the game? I don't know. I see it both ways. Like I, I, yeah. I would, I would understand if they said yes, just because like you want to get a, a shot at the world series, but that, then at the same time, you kind of look like sore losers. If you do that, that's, that's kind of how I see it. Yeah, um, not- like just let it go at this point. You, you got bested by the Rays. Like you said, he didn't really play a factor offensively in that game. So fuck it. Just, just be done with it. Yeah. So do you be honest, man, Nobody's listening. It's just me and you here. I am. Nobody's going <laughs> to. Okay. Would you, if you're Justin Turner, do you go back out on that field to celebrate with your team? What would well, you have done? I don't know, because winning the World Series is a once in a lifetime type of thing for most people in this world. For 99.9% of the population of this entire world, winning the World Series is a once in a lifetime Thing. unless you're Derek Jeter then you get five of them you know what I mean you, you, you get you get what I'm saying or if you're Yogi Berra two great Yankee legends then you get totally. 10 rings but anyway totally irrelevant uh, of the question but <laughs> <laughs> but for Justin Turner this is a guy who's entering free agency he's in his mid-30s um you finally got to the promised land after I think three attempts maybe two attempts with the Dodgers t- 2017 2000 and Yep, they go. To, they went to the World Series in seventeen, right? They beat the they beat the Astros. Seven they games lost. to the Astros in 2017. Five games to the Red Sox in 2018. Right. Three attempts at the World Series. You finally get there. You want to celebrate. This is like something you you dream about as a kid. I I'm a, I'm a fucking 36. I'm gonna be 36 years old, I think, in, in a couple of weeks. And uh, there's no no shot that I'm ever gonna play in the major leagues. But like, 
if one day I could get in there as a reporter or some shit, that would be amazing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll take yeah. that. So I I think I would probably, <laughs> probably do it. But now look at the backlash he's getting. Like, you I'll know, everybody's everybody's taking the attention has been taken away from removing Blake Snell for Kevin Cash, which we'll get to in a little bit into Justin Turner refusing not to abide by MLB and, and just go out into the field and celebrate with his teammates. Yeah, I'm going back out on that field. And only because I was already there. I was already in the bench, in the dugout, in the clubhouse, yeah. doing whatever I had to do. You know, you guys are infected game. anyway. Fuck it. Let's celebrate now, guys. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, fuck it. Now, if I'm coughing up, <laughs> if I'm coughing up germs and having to, like, you know, wipe my nose every five seconds, I'm not going back out there. But you can even see Justin Turner, you know, kissing his wife. Which is weird. <laughs> like they just right? at that point they're just like ah oh, fuck this thing <laughs> like yeah so I think that's what, it almost seemed there. that way it almost seemed like what went what went through my mind the the initial like outrage that went through my mind and I and again I don't blame Justin Turner for doing what he did I might have done the same thing the initial thing that went through my mind the the liberal snowflake you know cancel me cancel people type person side of me uh, was saying like. Guys, COVID doesn't just stop because you guys won the World Series. Like, can you guys abide by the rules and all this shit? But then the logical side, my heart, the the real side of me was like, this is a once in a lifetime thing. Chances are most of you are probably going to be okay. And maybe this is a false positive. So just enjoy it. Fuck it. Yeah, but then again, it, we'll feel like shit next week if we find out, oh shit, Dave Roberts contracted COVID from from Justin Turner, it's not even really funny. And he's fucking on a respirator or some shit. You yeah, know no, what I mean? Okay. It's not funny what the outcome, what the worst case scenario outcome might be. But I also think that everyone's going to be super cautious post celebration. Yeah. And I also feel like we caught that on camera, but I'm almost 100% sure that afterwards, Justin Turner was popping champagne bottles with Clayton Kershaw. Both of those guys oh, have yeah. been a part of those Dodgers teams going to the World Series three three times in the last four years. Big both played a huge role. Justin Turner has always been a, a a staple on that team since he's since since he's got there. Since he implemented some uh launch angle logic into his swing, right? Yeah, you like mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Shout out to Doug Latta, guys. Check out season one of the of the Welcome to the Show podcast. That's right. So I feel like at that point, Justin Turner was probably thinking, like, I don't care what the backlash is gonna be, because although you guys aren't going to see this part of the celebration. We're going to pop bottles in this hotel. I'm not leaving yeah. this hotel. All that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs>